Hello everybody, it is Allie from Alice and Kelly Crafts, and this time I am here with a art journal video. I I don't know if I've ever done one of these on YouTube, maybe I have, I don't know. Anyways, I am really excited about this one because it is an art journal page that I submitted to a magazine. Um, I'll link everything down below, but it is for the Strawberry Moon magazine. They had a prompt um, that was just moon themed and then you could make a page and submit it and it is in their second issue. Um, and the reason I am doing this now is because their second issue has just been released and they're going to be shipping them out soon. Um, and so here's my process of the page that is in that magazine which uh, is, is pretty exciting. I'm excited to get it and see my artwork in the magazine, <laughs> which is kind of wild. But um, this magazine is pretty new. It's, I mean, this is only its second issue and the um, owner and creator of this is really cool. I highly recommend checking it out if you are into art journaling or just art in general. Um, it is an awesome source for inspiration. So I will link Strawberry Moon magazine down below. Um, once I saw that uh, the theme was moon, which I love making moon themed things, I immediately made this page specifically for the magazine just because I was just really inspired. So what I've been doing so far is I cut out a moon um, out of some old dictionary paper and I painted it gold. And then this is um, an image of some asteroids that are from an old science textbook that I had. I did some watercolor on top of it to make it um, darker and then I am um, using some ink and a pen to uh, just doodle around the asteroids. I just thought it made it look cool. Um, I haven't even gotten to the page yet. Oh, I, I had gessoed it and I was waiting for the gesso to dry. Um, and, and then I'm just kind of mapping out, even though it doesn't really matter um, what I'm planning on doing, uh, my idea, which is what ended up happening, is um, to do the moon and then to have some leaves growing out of the moon. I just thought it would be kind of pretty. So I am applying some ink. Oh, and I forgot to film the rest of that. I just kind of dropped some ink and then used a paintbrush to paint over the top of that. Um, and then I also painted some more dictionary paper gold and then I am cutting out some little star shapes um, to be stars. <laughs> I haven't been art journaling much um, recently, but I really need to get into it more. I think it, I, it's a great way to make art just for art's sake, which is something I, I think I need to do more of. I always feel like I need to be making art, or a part of me says that I need to be making art to sell or to um, make content out of, which I guess I'm making content out of this. I guess it's mostly just to sell. I feel like I, everything needs to be able to be turned into a sticker or a print. Um, but art journaling, well, I guess I could turn this into a sticker. It, um, it's just a place for me to play and to have fun. So I'm using some ink and this little dabber thing to add some um, brown ink to the edge of the moon and stars just to give it some um, dimension. I think I had got the dauber like that day at Michael's, so I was excited to, to, to try it out. <laughs> now I'm adding, I think, some, some more gold paint just to make it look more, um, I don't know, normal. I, uh, to make it make more sense, I guess, um, or to make it look more natural. And now I'm gluing on the moon, which was kind of a mistake. I glued it on way too early in the background making process, um, but I was just kind of playing and messing around. Um, oh, and I'm also painting on the flowers, which um, now I, I think now is when I realize, oh wait, no, I, I want the, the background to be darker. <laughs> what am I doing? So the ink that I put on before kind of gets covered up, but that's fine. It's, it's a part of the process, um, which actually I saw this quote recently, which I think fits well with this, of the process of making art is much more important than the finished product. 
And I think that's something I need to remember more of as well, that making art is um, what's what's important. And, um, and the final product is just kind of a ch cherry on top. Um, but making art is what is important, not necessarily the outcome. I feel like I've said that five times now, so. <laughs> um, but now I'm just using some blue acrylic paint to paint. <laughs> Um, I know I, I knew I wanted the background to be bar dark and like blue and um, have some depth to it, which is why I added so many layers. I also don't, I think I wanted the texture that, um, which is why I'm using such a small brush, <laughs> which ended up being kind of weird. And this is where I definitely should have not glued the moon on. I ended up using some um, acrylic ink to um, add some like drippage, um, which does look really cool, but I was I didn't want it to be on top of the moon. So I ended up adding some like fake drips along the moon um, so that it, it, it looked cool, but then I didn't have to worry about the moon getting um, a bunch of black ink on it. And now I'm going in and drawing the flowers, which the ink isn't fully dry in some places, so the black kind of gets mixed in with the with this nice mint color that I had chosen. But that is okay. It turns out okay in the end. Also, I had the, at this point I was this was definitely a trust the process kind of part because I definitely wanted the f leaves to be a lot more delicate than what they are. They turned out pretty chunky, but I end up saving it in the end. Uh, but right now I was like, oh my god, I ruined everything. <laughs> this page is ruined. Everything's ruined. But it, it's not. It turns out okay. <laughs> oh, and I add another um, just kind of vine of, flower, of leaves across the bottom. Um, I'm just kind of playing at this point, doing whatever feels right. And I, I had a lot of fun with this page, which I think you can see in the end. I think it, it yeah, it's just, I, I like how it turned out. Oh, now I'm putting on the little asteroid thing. Um, which at this point, I'm also like, oh no, this doesn't look good, but it was my plan. I almost didn't include it, but I figured, meh, might as well. And I do, I do think it, it, it does add a lot in the end, but right now it just kind of stands out too much. And so I do some things to make it make more sense in on the page. Uh, there's my head. Now I'm just adding some more Mod Podge along the edges and then trimming it up. Oh yeah, so the main thing I do is I add ink to um, to it, and I think that helps make it blend in with the background a little bit more, so it doesn't stand out as much. Before I had used some like watercolor that um, I didn't use in other places on this page, um, like that specific watercolor, and so the color just didn't quite make any sense. Um, but adding the ink definitely helped. I'm also adding some ink to the little leaves um, to, I end up, I end up, um, right now I'm using a paintbrush with some acrylic ink, but I end up using a fountain, not fountain pen, I forget what they're called, um, with the, the little nib where you just dip it in the ink. <laughs> um, I use some of that to add some more detail to it, which ends up helping a lot, um, make it look more cohesive and delicate and what I had originally wanted. I think this page is definitely one of the examples of, I have like a big idea, and then as I'm going through it, I'm like, I feel like I'm losing that idea. Like I felt like I was messing up a lot and I felt like I, what I was, it wasn't coming out how I thought it was, but then by the end, it came out a lot better than I had originally thought it would. Like, originally, it came out a lot better than my original idea. Um, 
So that's just the joy of, of making art. Um, so now here I am with the little pen adding some details, um, which I, I think I, di I did mess up a little bit on some of them, but I ended up being able to cover it up. Like I think I got some ink on the moon and whatnot, but I it, I, it, it worked itself out. Um, I also doodled, doodled around the asteroids a little bit, and yeah. I also just kind of add some little circles, doodles around, um, just to kind of add some some interest in something. I just, I, I just kind of wanted to. <laughs> oh, and I, I get some ink everywhere, because obviously. Um, oh, and then it's time. I, I, I kind of forgot that I had these stars. <laughs> and then I was like, you know, it's missing something. And then I found the stars. And I was like, oh, there we go. That's what it was missing. Um, so I put the big one kind of in the middle of the moon, which always makes me laugh, because um, like that's not how the moon works. It's not an actual crescent. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, I, I like the look of, like, a star in the middle of the moon, even though that's, like, a shadow and not, like, an empty space. Um, but I, I think it looks good, so I do it anyways. <laughs> this art journal page isn't supposed to be scientifically accurate. <laughs> um, next I start adding, and I try different, a few different ways of doing that, um, adding some black to the edges of the page. Um, I end up using, yeah, this ink and then the little dauber. I think I end up using paint too at the end. Um, just to kind of frame the art journal page. I feel like this is very helpful if you, it's a very helpful step of if you like the page, but you're not, you feel like it's not quite done. Adding some dark color, it doesn't have to be black, it can be like a dark, another dark color, um, to just the edges kind of frames it more. And... I think adds a cool look. So that's what I do here. Um, oh, and then I add some black around the moon and I think the stars as well, um, just to make them pop a little bit more off of the page. And then I'm, I add a little bit of, of doodles just with the, with the black ink to the edges, just to kind of add Add some some texture and some fun um, after this I think I um, oh yeah I have this like jar of um, of uh, like gold flecks so I through through a few different ways I end up gluing some of them around the page um, as kind of more smaller stars um. I, I think I spilled that on accident. Oh, right, no, I didn't. That was not an accident. Nope, it was. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I start just like by placing them individually and then I do think I end up just like dumping it on the page um, because um, placing them individually was annoying. <laughs> yep, just like that. And then, right now I'm messing with it, but what ends up working the best is um, painting the dots and then dumping it on and um, like shaking it off like like so. And then I just kind of wait until it dries and then I kind of I brush off the ones that aren't glued on. If you like brush it off too early then before the glue has dried, then um, it, it will, you'll like wipe off some of the ones that were glued on. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but I think uh, this also adds a really nice finishing touch. Um, there were many stages where I felt like it was almost finished, but there was just one last thing that would really push it over the edge, and I think the gold flakes were definitely that. Like, once after I put them on, I was like, oh my god. So yeah, I really love how this page turned out, 
and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the process. Go check out Strawberry Moon Magazine down below. If you get the second issue, you'll see this page in the magazine. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye!